Well, good afternoon, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. I'd like to do a quick update on what's soon to be major Hurricane Laura heading uh, for the Texas-Louisiana border here. The reason that's significant with this track here is while it may not hit a major metropolitan area, uh, but certainly some big areas, Beaumont and Lake Charles, um, the problem is just the refining capacity and all the oil platforms. So these little dots here show you the oil platforms that are off the coast of the pretty much Texas-Louisiana area. And uh, again, this is where it's made expected to make landfall. Huge, uh, once you get uh, the production areas are actually uh, on land, obviously, so the refining ports, uh, Port Arthur is number one, 607,000 barrels is right in the potential eyewall of what will be a Cat 3 Hurricane Laura. So shut down 607,000 barrels a day of oil, that's a lot of oil, and that could be days and sometimes weeks if there's major flooding as well. Usually they with, can withstand the winds, it's the, it's the flooding that could be the issue. Uh, number eight is also in that Beaumont area, right in the eyewall area. Uh, again, they make 369,000 barrels a day. Number seven would be at risk would be Lake Charles, uh, 418,000 barrels a day. Beaum uh, Baton Rouge, let's hope, uh, is probably going to be okay. Uh, but these these few right here in the eyewall, uh, to the right of the eyewall, are the highest risk ones. Let's hope that track holds because Houston obviously is not too far to the to the west, and then all the top two, three, four are right there in the Houston area. So obviously you're going to see uh, oil and gas prices go up for a couple weeks, if not more, uh, with this uh, projected landfall. This is a very dangerous storm in the sense that the models all show a major hurricane, intensifying hurricane toward landfall. It's not weakening, it's strengthening. So this is something to be very concerned about. Most are taking it into the Cat 3, Strong Cat 2, Cat 3, uh, even flirting with Cat 4. So it's just something to watch. The models are pretty tight with the gradient just to the east of um, Houston and to the, the west of uh, Lake Charles. So again, uh, right there on that Texas-Louisiana border is where it's expected to make landfall late Wednesday night and the pre-dawn Thursday morning time frame. Um, it's very important to differentiate uh, storm surge from waves. A storm surge is not waves. If you were sitting at the coast, you'd actually be watching the ocean just lift before your eyes. The, the level of the water would just lift. In this case, according to the Coastal Emergency Risk Assessment folks, they do an awesome job here. I love their product, um, showing that the storm surge is uh, anywhere north of 10 to 15 feet. Fortunately, the way the coastline is configured in this area, it's, it's uh, on the, the barrier islands uh, out there, um, not as populated. Uh, as some barrier islands, um, but getting in the problem, even Lake Charles, you know, you're still looking at a six, seven foot wall of water just lifting up um, into that area. Now, on top of that, you have waves. Now, the waves off the coast are going to be upwards of 30 feet. So, 10 foot tidal surge, 15 foot tidal surge, 30 foot waves on top of that, you have a 40 to 45 foot wall of water coming at you. Um, so again, the good news, if you look at this chart here, Houston uh, over here, uh, very little storm surge. Some, you know, certainly four, four foot surges. In the Galveston area is to be concerned about, but again, when you're talking about 10 to 15 on this right front quadrant of the storm, this is far more catastrophic than the left front quadrant of the storm. So right front is always catastrophic. Uh, anywhere near that eye wall is obviously catastrophic. So again, looking at a 30 to 40 foot wall of water coming into these areas here along that Texas-Louisiana border. Um, looking at the official Hurricane Center forecast, again, they take it right there through the Texas-Louisiana as a major hurricane. Um, again, Wednesday night, Thursday pre-dawn morning. Animation here is just showing you that track, which will then take it up through the Tennessee Valley and then uh, off the Mid-Atlantic, and they may even name it again, <laughs> get it, keep its name here back to a tropical storm as it moves off the New Jersey East Coast here, um, Sunday time frame. So we'll have to watch, but again, they'll be racing out to sea. The good news is it's a fast-moving storm. Uh, it won't stall, as some do, like Houston with uh, Harvey. It sat on Texas for days. This one certainly does not look like it's going to do that. It looks like it should be a pretty quick mover, so that'll minimize the catastrophic, you know, not going to see the 30, 40-inch rainfalls totals, but uh, certainly could see some 5 to 10-inch plus totals, uh, and obviously tornadoes anytime you have a landfalling hurricane. So with that, folks, uh, be safe, and uh, we will uh, give you more updates here on uh, social media. So stay safe out there.